This is another eBay vendor. I wanted to get a hundred to compare with the uh, fluorescent 130 watt uh, fluorescent fixtures. I think I'm probably going to get the rest of 50s, but we'll see how this does and make a judgment then. I'm going to slowly phase these in. Move the other fixtures around a little bit. So it's pretty impressive. 100, 100 watts, 100 bucks basically. 99 bucks total. And the uh, seller is D-E-D-C-N-I-U. There. And it came pretty quickly. Um, I got it in four or five days. Federal Express to here. Box came in rough shape, but I'll show you that in a sec here. Okay, I received this uh, 100 watt LED from China. It only took a few days. It's kind of surprised. It came lightly packaged. The box is kind of coming apart um, and it was sent from uh, yeah from Shanghai um, yeah auto parts incorporated limited um, anyway so you're from China box arrived in very poor condition. I, I broke this open across here with my thumb, but there was holes in both sides already. Um, so the box barely made it. Of course, it's a typical Chinese box. A real soft cardboard. It's been recycled a million times. And uh, I just packed up, pack up a few layers of foam in a plastic bag. And here it is. Got a nice big heat sink. It's actually quite large overall. It's, uh, I'd say about a foot across, well, more than a foot across. Yeah, about a foot across. And maybe uh, 15 inches lengthwise. In fact, I could tell you exactly if anybody really wants to know. Overall, including an inch for the bracket, I got 15 inches. And the width, I got uh, 11 and a quarter. So it's a pretty big unit. And I paid uh, basically 89 plus 9, well, $10 shipping. So basically 99 bucks for the thing. Uh, delivered decent bracket and I had it mounted in my barn like about like that so it would point out a little bit oops I'm losing the camera again here and like the other one it comes with a uh, pigtail they tell you yellow is is ground <laughs> She would not make stake that. Let's see if they do have a green stripe on it. And it says uh, for a brand, it says J I A H U A, J U A LED, something like that. I have to keep it all in focus here. I should uh, change my come out again here. Give you a better picture of the whole thing. Pretty nice. Pretty big. Pretty heavy. I think it was 4.7 kilos. Um, let me see if we can find the box. Because kilo is 2.2 pounds. Do the math. Let me see what they put down here. 
No, 3.7 uh, kilos. Now I've got a 100 water hanging where that 30 water was hanging. And since it's directing most of its light straight down, that it's kind of hard to compare things, but I'm going to go a little lower shot here. Here's the uh, 130 watts of fluorescent. And then that blue dot in the distance there is the 100 watts of LED. And then uh, 63 plus a malfunctioning bulb on the other fixture. So it's holding its own. And you can see it's lighting up the floor pretty well here now. My camera auto irises. If you look into it, it's like looking into the sun. But the light is pretty directional, so it's probably going to be put above this workbench. And when you shut it off, it still glows for a little bit. If it's a capacitor discharging, or if there's a little bit of residual fluorescence in the uh, on the phosphors. It takes a second to come on, too. Well, half a second to come on. But once it's on, it's on full brightness. So it's probably got to do with the uh, switch mode circuit inside. That takes the uh, 120 or... It can work on 85 to 240 volts, so it's got like a switch mode regulator inside.